digging down. Sand crab. Parker, where are we off to today? The beach. To? Uh, beach fish. Beach fish. Okay, beach fish. Hey, I've got you out of here. All right. So we're in Manhattan Beach. We are going to head on out and we're gonna fish the shore, see if we can get some Corbina or something. Uh, Parker's never done this. So hopefully we can get him hooked into something so he feels what it's like to catch a fish in the surf. Cheers. Parker's looking for some more sand crab, but here we go. This is what we're gonna use for fishing. He's digging down. Let's see. Ah, uh, just a little one. We need them to be just a bit bigger, a bit more appetizing. All right, P, ready to go fish? Let's do this. Pull it a little bit tighter. And you're going to face right towards the surf there. So just imagine your, your little guy is right in that surf, right in there. And at some point, a corbina is going to come and take it. You better keep your eye on the surf, though. you want me to use? Alright. better than the head. Alright, we're using the tail. Don't like the eyes. Alright, here we go with this one. I'll get it out there. Look at this! Parker's first Corbina and a Oh, wait, big... it's alive. Kill it. Let's kill it. Let's kill it fast. <laughs> Sorry, fish. So beautiful, beautiful Corbina. Uh, uh, is this a Corbina? Yep. I'm going to stab it right there. Yep, right in the head. A little bit further up. A little bit further up. Don't step. Just put it right down in. There? Yep. Look at that. I feel so bad right now. Beautiful. California Corbina Parker's Bleeding. first. So how was your first uh, shore fishing? Uh, fun. We caught one, two fish. One was caught by hand. One was caught by fishing rod. Who caught them? Me. Both? Yeah. Nicely done. 
A little different than South Carolina, huh? Yeah. Not as many fish, for sure. But that was fun, huh? Yes. <laughs> All right, Parker, so what are we doing today? We are uh, imprinting it so we remember what the fish looks like later on. And that's called Giyotaku, right? Yes. It's a Japanese way of remembering your fish. What do we need to do? We uh, uh, We need to mix and make ink. So I have to weigh it, see how long it is. What do we do with the papers? Uh, we press it on there. Exactly, so we're going to ink all this up, put the papers on, press it down, and what it will do is make an imprint of this beautiful fish that Parker caught earlier. So you wanna show them what it looks like? One of the cool things is, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it's just got this beautiful incandescence right across the top here, and it's just such a beautiful fish. How did it fight? Yeah, it was a it was a fighter, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, so we are going to get this set up, and we will get to guillotacuing this fish shortly. Go ahead and set your fish on there. It's probably got about two ounces less because of the guts. We have a one pound five ounce fish. Let's go one pound seven ounces since there were quite a bit of guts in there. So from there, we got like, um, we got there about 16 and six, 16, 16 and like one fourth. You got 16 and a fourth, but maybe a little bit longer. It might be a 16 and a half. It is. It's a half. Oh, yep. If we straighten that out, or two thirds, I think it's 16 and a half inches. So this fish here that Parker caught earlier is 16 and a half inches. Uh, one pound, seven ounces. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make a little bit of ink uh, for this. Normally this is done with charcoal, uh, a type of charcoal. This one, we're going to use a similar type of charcoal, um, actually one of the original ways of doing ink. So you wanna stir it up super good. That looks good, we got it in there. <laughs> Try to get some of some of the uh, fins to go out just a little bit more, so that when we we do this, we know where the print is. So as you can see, look at how beautiful that is. Just this beautiful fin line all the way down. And what I've seen and what I've heard is that you basically, for you tacoing, you basically take these fins off afterwards, and then you do a, a mini gyu taku uh, on it afterwards to really imprint it. What we'll do here, Park, is you're just gonna go like this. We're gonna go through and we're gonna just ink, ink it up. Ink it all the way up. Holy. All the way. So go ahead and just spread your spread the ink all the way over it. Part time. Part time. We are going to take the paper now and we're going to put it right down on top and as I set it down, I want you to press right in the middle. Press right in the middle and move outward. So don't, don't move the paper, we're just going like that. So press it down. <laughs> See if we can get the uh, end a little bit there. Uh, take it up, take it up, and oh, oh wow! We should have done like the gill. What are you doing, Park? I am putting into the sauce. What are you doing? I'm adding ginger to the fish to 
Could make it taste better. Okay, before we steam it. Mm That's really good. Really good? This is a success. There you go. We've got some Corbina and it was just uh, marinated a bit and then added some hot oil on top, some hot sesame, and there you go. Now, now it's time to eat. And I've got to thank Parker right now. He, he always laughs at my videos. This is my son, Parker. I hope you guys all enjoy his videos. Of course, he's already been in a couple of them. Uh, usually making fun of me though. So good on him on this one because this is one heck of a fish.